Hello, Property Nomads. Hope you're well. Some fantastic news. And that was that gold has spiked to an all-time record high. Uh, in dollar terms, it reached $2,198.54. And then for those close to home in pound terms, it was £1,696.94. And now this happened during the uh, opening yesterday, so pretty much Asian trading. But this is created a lot of shockwaves uh, around the world because it is the highest price that gold has ever been at. And as we said before on, on the channel, there's numerous reasons why that is the case. We have seen, well, the first question is, is it gold going up or is it the strength of the currencies declining or is it a combination of both? That really depends on your opinion. I, I hear different opinions from different people all the time. But the thing is, what we have to ask ourselves is why, why is this going up? I mean, even if you just look at gold in the last month or so, it's gone up by just over a percent. Uh, if you look at the last six months, gold has gone up, and in, I'm talking pound coins here, gold has gone up by 3.86%. And if you look at the last year, gold has gone up by 11%, just over 11%. So gold as a store of value and all the characteristics that it has is really, really doing its job. But why has it spiked? Well, it looks like it's the currencies getting a lot worse. We have seen uh, a re-rise in conflict, and not just in Israel uh, and that part of the world. Uh, Venezuela held a referendum uh, the other day um, about um, reclaiming or claiming uh, sovereignty over quite a lot of land in Guyana, which it neighbours. And that's also quite concerning. So. Uh, Obviously, we have Russia, Ukraine as well. And, and then you just see all these movements happening. In a nutshell, we're seeing a little bit more uh, geopolitical conflict coming back into play. And increasingly on a, a more worldwide level, not just concentrated, I say, in Israel and, and that basin. Again, looking at areas in South America as well. So... As we've said before on on the channel, and you know we're not independent financial advisors, we're not IFAs, we're not here to make recommendations, we're not here to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. We would always say that you need to do your own homework on physical metals. You need to do your own homework on gold, on silver. Why would you potentially want to own them physically? Uh, if you were to do that, where would be good to store them? Again, we've done videos on that. On, on the YouTube channel before. We'll probably do them again at some point because uh, it's a very pertinent topic. But to have gold reach a its record ever high is one thing. Uh, there might be a backtracement and then it will probably go to the moon. Why? Look, we're not here to say to you, oh, $10,000 gold or $15,000 gold or anything like that. You just have to look at everything that's going on in the world. You have to look at history. You have to look at what's what's gone on before. When has gold done well? Uh, gold has normally done well during uh, very uncertain economic times. Uh, gold also does very well as a potential inflation hedge. How do we get inflation? Uh, well, that's Jesse increase of the currency supply what's been happening for the last few years a massive increase in the currency supply what's likely to happen moving forward probably a big increase in the currency supply and we're in this death spiral at the moment so for a lot of gold bugs to see the headline that gold has reached its record high is it's probably like a wet dream to them um, but we are of the belief that there's always a place for gold, but you have to do it for the reasons that you want to. Uh, again, we're not IFAs. We're not saying you go out and buy gold, but we're saying have a look at it, study it. And it potentially, if this, this goes off to the moon, you know, you're going to want to jump in before that happens rather than uh, buying the panic that's going to happen at some point in the future. 
So very interesting stuff for gold, uh, we have to say. Also, just like to say a massive thank you to you for subscribing to the YouTube channel. We've seen a massive increase in numbers recently. And that's a, a thank you to you for subscribing and also telling people about the channel as well. If you haven't already subscribed, please, please do us a, a massive favor and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're looking to aggressively grow this moving forward. And it's, it's thanks to you for spreading the message. So see you in the next video.